If you want to know how to do mastering inside of Adobe Audition, this video is for you. Till the end of this video, you'll be able, able to do mastering by yourself. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you like it. Okay, let's dive uh, right in uh, inside of, here we are, inside of the Adobe Audition uh, 2020 version. Uh, we received so many questions about this plugin, so we decided to make uh, this video and maybe help you in mastering your own uh, DJ drop, radio jingle, uh, audio track, uh, your song, your, I don't know, uh, podcast intro maybe, or something uh, even better. We have a piece of audio here. Uh, today we produced this short jingle for one of our clients, and this is how it sounds with Without mastering, take a listen. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Quite good, right? Our voice actor, artist Chris, and the Micro Jingles production together. Uh, okay, now we'll head over to Effects, then Special, and then Mastering. Okay, so Effects, Special, and Mastering. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit for you. Okay, this is mastering effect. It's a native Adobe Audition mastering plugin. It's native, so it's free when you buy any version of Adobe Audition and you have it on all versions, even on Audition 3.0 or 10 years ago. Meanwhile, Adobe engineers are improving it and this is uh, its latest version. Obviously, this plugin can't replace the plugins like uh, Ozone 9 from Isotope, but it can do a pretty good job, especially for beginners and semi-pro tracks and uh, producers to uh, achieve a better and uh, much more stronger sound uh, for uh, its audio. If you want to do mastering by yourself or if you don't have a lot of money to spend on mastering, this tool is our go-to. In radio, podcast and DJ production we use it uh, on an uh, almost daily basis. Uh, okay, let's dive in. Uh, we have two columns here. This one here and this one over here, okay? Left side is for final touch of EQ and the right side is where the fun stuff is going on. Let's start with the right side from the top to the bottom. Uh, in our mastering chain, first is reverb. Reverb is used to add slight reverb to your audio and uh, it makes track more natural, especially when there are some strong gaps inside. Uh, it makes them uh, sound more natural and makes better audio flow. We usually never set it over 10 to 20%, but uh, you can use it how you want. Let's adjust it. So we'll play the track. Preview window. You go over here. Here. Yes. So here it is, preview. So we will see everything what's going on. We will see down here. This is preview track and this is original track. Okay. Uh, hit play, uh, hit the space, hit play. We will place amount of rever reverb we like. Okay. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. One more time. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Okay, something like so. Sounds cool, okay? You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Fine, that's it. Uh, not so big difference. Uh, but it uh, helps uh, make sound more uh, natural. Especially on this last part of the, of the audio. Okay, one more time. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Okay, uh, that's it. Let's go on the second step. It's uh, Exciter. Exciter is our uh, second step in this uh, mastering uh, plugin. Let's zoom in. Uh, and uh, second one, and our most loved part of mastering is Exciter, as we said earlier. Uh, Exciter basically increased high end to make your audio clear and crisp. Too much can cause too harsh sound and too low, obviously will not make any difference. You have uh, three presets here. It's uh, retro, it's uh, tape uh, and tube. Uh, tube is more focused, uh, so here we are, retro, tape, tube and tube. Tube is more focused on uh, on the one specific frequency, it's very narrow, and the retro will distort some wider frequency range. Uh, the final one is tape, you usually use retro or tube. Uh, you can definitely hear how this uh, have uh, how this have effect on audio let's check it out you're listening to the axe lounge sit back and relax do you see how harsh it's it, it sound you're listening to the axe lounge sit back and relax 
We don't want to go too hard on this, okay? You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Something like so will be okay, okay? You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Maybe even too much. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Okay, until now this is a raw file. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. After reverb and the exciter. Oh, uh, sorry. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Just a slightly, uh, slightly touch of EQ on the high end with this exciter. Okay, uh, let's move forward. Third one, yes, it's Widener, and it will cause your left and right side to be pan even greater. Your audio will be more uh, wider and will fill space even stronger. Uh, we will adjust it, of course. All right, uh, let's go. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Especially this track is not so uh, panned left or right, so you maybe can't hear difference unless you wear headphones. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Okay, something like this will uh, do the job. Uh, let's go. Uh, and now, uh, now is uh, the most powerful effect in in uh, mastering plugin is n in native mastering plugin is loudness maximizer. Is some sort of compressor, but very powerful one. Uh, this bad boy will make your track a flat line. Let's zoom out for a little bit, and now we will crank it up to 100%. You will see what's happening with this uh, preview track. Look. <laughs> Everything is so, so, so flat, so compressed. Let's hear it from zero to 100, okay? You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Everything got smashed. So. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Okay, sound like this. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Okay, that sounds cool. Uh, so, one more information. Uh, use it with caution. Uh, obviously, as high as you go, your audio will be more and more compressed. Uh, and uh, if you master track, uh, be gentle on this one. Uh, if you master jingles for radio or even DJ drops, uh, you can go a little bit aggressive. Be, you, can, you can be slightly more aggressive on this one. We adjusted and uh, this is how it sounds. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Last in the chain is output gain. Uh, this is a correction for your levels, so you know what gain is, so we won't lose uh, our time here. Usually we limit all our audio to minus 1 dB. If you want to achieve minus 3 dB or minus 6 even or something do or something other, feel free to experiment by yourself. Minus 1. Uh, and then we go to right side. We leave it for the we left it for the end because we don't use it uh, so much to be honest. Uh, just sometimes when there is need to fix certain frequencies, like enhancing high end, notching some bad frequency, or reducing the rumble. Uh, we won't use it on our track because uh, we are happy how it sounds uh, for now. Uh, but just to show you, let's make some short, obviously, low shelf peaking and high shelf. Enable or disable. Look, this dot here. It's here. Low. Okay. Maybe we can uh, try to just to give you uh, one example how it works. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. I really don't think we need uh, much more of a high shelf here. A low shelf, let's hear it also. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Probably in some uh, cool EDM production, <laughs> this will be great, but we won't uh, give so much bass here. And of course, speaking. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Maybe this sounds cool. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. All right, uh, and that's it. One final thing uh, before we go. Uh, here we have presets and they are great. So here they are. Uh, so Bright Hype, Club Master, Dream Sequence, uh, Drum Spreader, uh, Subtle Clarity and so on. We find Subtle Clarity and Club Master uh, 
the best uh, for our type of production, but uh, you can use it how you want. Uh, also, of course, you can uh, name, you can save, see, you can save. So when you press this little icon here, you can save this preset how you want. Uh, if you want to uh, be saved for uh, next songs, for next mastering, that's it. Uh, that's it. Let's hear one more time. How does it sound? Uh, raw audio. Let's go. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. And this is with mastering. You're listening to the Axe Lounge. Sit back and relax. Thank you very much for listening. This was uh, our little tutorial on uh, how to do mastering, how to master your audio with native mastering tool inside of Adobe Audition. Thank you for watching.